In this tutorial, we are going to solve a very interesting question under Newton's laws of motion. So, here is our question. When the three blocks in the figure below are released from rest, they accelerate with the magnitude of 0 0.5 meters per second squared. Block 1 has, uh, has mass m, block 2 has mass 2m, and block 3 has mass 2m. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between block 2 and the table? So we do know that if we have friction here, the, the friction is going to be present um, on block 2 only because block 2 is the one which is in contact with the table. Block 1 and block 3, they are in free form. Okay, they are not in contact with the table. So what we are going to do here, we need to come up with the forces acting uh, on on uh, block one, block two, as well as block three. Okay, so there we go. Let's start with M1 or block one. Now this block one, we can see that if I can get this block one and put it here. So let's say this is our block one. Okay, it's just a small block. What we have to understand here is that we have been told that the mass is just m. Meaning that this block is going to have, let's assume that we have got the tension, this tension let's call T1, this tension let's call T2. This tension, the tension from this point all the way to this point is going to be the same and the tension from this point all the way to this point is going to be the same because it is connected to the same loop. Okay? So now what we have to understand here is that we are going to have the tension pointing upward, which is going to be T1. We are going to have the weight of M1, which is going to be M, uh, Mg. Now this object, we have been told that this system is going to go in this direction. So if it is going in that direction, which we should, we should understand to say, the acceleration in this case for M1 is going to be pointed upward. And this acceleration is going to be positive because it is pointing upward. Okay? So we are going to say the summation of all the forces in y direction. In that case, we are going to have the tension force pointing upward minus the mg. mg is pointing downward, so that's why I'm going to say minus mg. We have acceleration, we are going to say mass is going to be just mass times acceleration is going to be equal to T1 minus mg. Okay, now I'm going to call this one to say this is my equation 1. So this equation, let's put it here to say our equation 1 is um, M1, we have um, MA is equal to T1 minus MG. Okay, this is our equation 1. Let's leave it there. Now we are done with the M1. Let's go to... to uh, block 2 now. Block 2, we can see that there is friction there. So block 2 here is our block 2. There is a tension which is pointing toward positive x-axis, which is T2. There is another tension which is pointing what? Toward the um, negative x-axis, which is T1. But again, there is friction. So if this object is moving this direction, meaning that there is also friction which is opposing the motion. So we're going to have also friction force in that direction. Okay? Meaning that the summation of all the forces in x direction, in this case, we have acceleration, so we have T2 pointing toward positive minus T1 minus the friction force. So friction force and tension force, they are moving in the same direction, that's why they are carrying uh, posit uh, negative, they are opposing the motion. Okay. Now from here what we need to understand is that since there is acceleration, we have been told that the mass of block 2 is 2m here. Is 2m so I'm going to replace here with it is supposed to be mass times acceleration but that mass is 2 so it's supposed to be 2m a is going to be equal to t2 minus t1 minus the friction force is mu times the normal force now the normal force we know that the normal force in this case is going to be 2 times mg because the mass is 2 so I'm going to replace this with 2 mg okay now let's call this to be our equation 2 so we are done with that one. 
So we're going to call this one to be our equation 2. So we can just put it here to say we have 2m a is equal to t2 minus t1 again minus mu 2 or I can just put 2 here I put 2 mu times mg so this is my equation 2 now let's go to m3 block 3 in short so block 3 if I can get block 3 here what are we going to see now here is our block 3 we have been told that the mass is also 2m meaning that the weight of this block is going to be 2mg there is a force which is pointing upward which is the tension force but what we have to understand is that the block now is moving is going downward remember block 1 the, the block was going upward that's why we took acceleration to be positive now in this case block 3 the op this system is moving in this direction therefore the block is, is going downward the acceleration now is going to be negative so we're going to say the summation of all the forces in y direction we're going to have the tension force pointing upward which is t2 minus we're going to have 2 mg but the acceleration now is going to be negative since the mass is 2 is going to be negative 2 mm the mass is 2 m we have been told that block 3 is going to be 2 m here that's why I'm replacing with 2 m so we're going to have 2m minus, this is going to be t2, then minus this. We're going to call this to be equation 3. Now, this equation 3, let's leave it there. So we have negative 2ma to be equal to t2, t2 minus 2mg. This is t3. That is our equation 3. Now that we have our equation 3, we have the, um, we have our equation 3, equation 1 and equation 2. What we have to remember here is that we don't have tension force. But our goal is to find the coefficient of uh, kinetic friction. So what we have to do is, we have to make, uh, in equation 1 here, I'm going to make T1 as a subject of formula. Once I make that T1 as a subject of formula, I'm going to replace it in what? In e equation 2. Again, in equation 3, I'm going to make T2 as a subject of formula because I'm trying to eliminate the tension force. So in equation 1, we have M1, MA is equal to T1 minus Mg. I want to make T1 as a subject of formula, then it's going to be MA, I'll shift Mg, this side is going to be like this, is equal to T1. In equation 2, where there is T2, where there is T1, I'm going to replace with what? I'm going to replace with, I'm going to replace with uh, MA plus MG. So, this is T1 here. So, where there is T1, there I'm going to replace with what? I'm going to have 2 MA is going to be equal to T2 minus. Where there is T1, I'm going to put MA plus MG, then minus mu, we have uh, 2 mu mg okay that is our equation now meaning we are done with this equation equation one also we have modified this one we are meaning with one now so now the final one is going to be 2 ma minus t2 minus ma minus i'm distributing the negative mg then we're going to have minus 2 mu mg now in this third equation so this equation here, let me just put it here. I'm going to put it here to say we have 2 ma minus, or oh, this has to be equal to, okay, this is equal to, this is equal to, so we have 2 ma is equal to t2 minus ma minus mg, then again minus 2 mu mg. Now we can get rid of this. Now. We are trying to eliminate now, we have now two equations. So we have this equation here and this one. But we want to eliminate tension force. Now in the third equation, I'm going to make T2 as a subject of formula. So I have this to be equal to T2 minus 2mg. I want to make T2 as a subject of formula. I'm going to shift this to the left hand side. So I'm going to have... I'll start with the same one. I'm going to have 
2mg, I'm just shifting this to the left hand side, then this is going to be minus, I'm, I'll just write this, minus 2mm, this is going to be equal to t2. Now, after making t2 as a subject of formula, meaning that in the this equation which we just modified here, where there is t2 we replace with this equation, as simple as that. So now I'm going to write that one to say is 2 m a to be where there is t2 I'm going to put 2 m g minus 2 m a I'm just replacing with this then I'm going to write the rest I have minus m a minus m g minus 2 mu m g now we can get rid of this we no longer need this now we have one equation we have eliminate uh, we have removed the tension force. So this is the equation which we have now. But we know that we can modify this equation and say we have 2 ma is going to be equal to I can add this and this which is going to give me what? It's going to give me is minus so I'm going to say it's going to give me just mg. Then at the same time I have 2 ma minus 2 mu mg. Now remember our goal is to find the value of mu. I'm going to shift I'm going to shift um this part here it has to go to the left hand side and then I'm going to shift this to the right hand side so if I shift that one I'm going to have 2 mu g is going to be equal to I have mg minus 2 m a again minus 2 um m a these two can be added okay which is going to give us negative 4 so we have 2 mu mg is going to be equal to mg minus 4 ma now from here this is our equation we can see that we can see m everywhere we can cancel the m and we are going to end up having this just get rid of this we're going to end up having this equation now. We're going to have 2 mu g is going to be equal to g minus 4 times acceleration. So we can divide both sides by 2g, even here by 2g. So these two can cancel. These can cancel. We can see that the mu k will be equal to g minus 4a over 2g. Now let's plug in the values. We have everything now there. So we have the mu k is going to be because the g is 9.8 minus 4 the acceleration is 0.5. We've been given the acceleration here which is 0.5. Then we divide it by 2 times 9.8. So our mu k is going to be 9.8 minus so what is uh, 0 0.5 times 4? It's giving me 2. I'm going to divide this one by 19.6. Because 2 times um, 9.8 is 19.6. So we can see that our mu k is going to be equal to 9.8 minus 2. With 7, it's giving me 7.8. 7.8 divided by 19.6. So this is giving me 0 0.39. It's giving me 0 0.39795. So I can round it off and say mu k is going to be 0 0.4. So this is going to be the coefficient of kinetic friction, 0 0.4. Okay.